If you own a Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet, then you may already be familiar with its secure folder feature. This is something that was first introduced back in 2017, and the company boasts that its own Knox security platform is able to protect everything you store in it. But that does not seem to be the case as someone on Reddit recently discovered that your images and videos can be accessed with an updated media picker that allows you to switch profiles. This isn't the worst vulnerability that we've seen happen to Android, but it is worrisome if you're trying to hide images or videos from someone who can get their hands on your phone. This bug works by leveraging specific versions of the media picker that is available on Android smartphones or tablets. The OP in this thread mentions that they were able to get this working with Blue Sky and Mastodon, but there are a number of other applications out there that also include this specific version of the media picker. You must also have a work profile set up through an application like Island, or perhaps you set this up on your own through the traditional setup process. This is even possible if your job set up a work profile on your device as well. You can then check to see if this works on your Samsung Galaxy device by first launching the secure folder and then storing a secret image or video there. That way, you know this specific image should only be accessible through secure folder. Now, tap the three dot menu icon at the top right and then choose the lock and exit option. So you should not be able to find those images until you unlock secure folder like you normally would. But if you now install an application like Mastodon or Blue Sky and then use its updated media picker to choose an image or a video like you normally would when you create a new post. But if you look at the bottom, you will see a way to change which profile is being used it will be set to the personal profile by default, but you're also going to see that work profile that you have set up through Island or just normally. And then you'll have your second work profile. And it's the second work profile that you can tap on to give you access to those secret images or videos that you have saved in your secure folder. These should not be accessible because you're using the personal profile here. And if you remember, you tapped on that lock and exit button, so you shouldn't be able to find it with this media picker. But again, you must have a work profile set up so the media picker knows to display the account switcher from within that app at the bottom. I do understand that not everyone has a work profile set up, but if there's someone that you're hiding these images and videos from and they have access to your phone, then they can easily set this up with an application like Island in order to access that content. This is all possible due to the way Samsung went about developing the secure folder feature. See, back in 2017, Google hadn't developed its private space feature yet. So the engineers over at Samsung did it the quick and dirty way by using the same user type for secure folder as Android uses for the regular work profile. And since apps like the Android Photo Picker treat the secure folder profile just like any other work profile, then it still has the ability to switch to that secondary profile that you saw in the list. This is not possible with Google's version of private space since the company created a completely different and more secure user type for it. And it's treated differently by the photo picker app so that it isn't detected in situations like this. Samsung could have developed its secure folder in this way, 
but it would have taken much longer to create, and that wasn't something the company was willing to do at that time. Thankfully though, there is a quick and easy way of protecting yourself from this loophole. Firstly, if you remember, you must already have a work profile set up on your device. So if your phone or tablet has that and you don't actually need that work profile, then removing it is the obvious answer. But again, if someone you are worrying about is able to gain access to your phone, then they could just add that work profile themselves and then find that private content. But there is a way for you to encrypt your secure folder. To do this, we open up the secure folder application and then tap on that three dot icon again. Except this time, we're gonna select the encrypt option from here. This will temporarily encrypt the data that's stored within your secure folder and then prevent that loophole from being used to access any of it. The only downside here is that you must tap this encrypt option each and every time you're done with using secure folder. Since there isn't an automatically encrypt feature that we can enable right now. It's possible that Samsung will decide to add that in the future, but I'm not seeing any indication that this is the case right now. So you'll need to remember that this has to be done each and every time you're finished accessing secure folder because tapping on the lock and exit button isn't enough to protect your private images and videos. Samsung could also decide to update its secure folder feature to utilize that new user type in a future update, but they have yet to do so with the upcoming release of One UI 7, so I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Although, if this issue becomes more widespread and Samsung ends up getting enough complaints and reports about it, then they may expedite the issue for everyone. But this bug has been reported to Samsung and they have also confirmed that it is a known issue and that they are aware of it. But let me know if you have this same bug down in the comment section below, as I would be curious to learn if this has been possible with One UI since 2017 and it only took the community this long to figure it out. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.